for us as a church, we have been made bold in giving of our financial resources to support the ministry of this church, of proclaiming Jesus to this community. We have been made bold by not backing down, but moving forward in faith, building a school with the express purpose of catching men, of teaching children about the love of Jesus. We have been made bold by not backing down, but moving forward in faith, sharing the love of Jesus with people in our community through our food bank. We have been made bold, not backing down, but moving forward, being the hands and feet of Jesus in and through our rummage sale. I have a video. Hello, I'm Diana, and I'm delighted to be here today to share with you a little bit about Random Acts of Flowers. And you're probably saying, Random Acts of Flowers, what is that? Well, it all started a number of years ago where there was a gentleman who was ill in the hospital. Many people cared for him, blessed him, and he had all kinds of cards and flowers and people visiting. But he noticed while he was there and as he was leaving, not everybody was as fortunate. There were a number of people who never had a visitor, never had flowers, and he thought, what a waste of flowers and what can I do to help? So from that little seed that was planted, it's expanded. And now Random Acts of Flowers is found in a number of communities all around the United States. One of the big things, though, they can't send the flowers out if they don't have vases to put them in. That's where this comes in. We were so fortunate and blessed to have a number of people will donate the flowers. And uh, I connected with Jody a couple of years ago at one of the rummage sales and she was so good about donating and she remembered me, I remembered here, and here I am two years later. One of the blessings for this is not only for the people who receive the flowers, everybody involved in this organization, from the people who donate the flowers, the vases, people who donate their time, we're all blessed. And it's a really good feeling when you can give back to somebody else and to your community. So we want to thank CTK for being so generous and donating all these wonderful vases and the great energy that was here today. And thanks to everybody. My friends, the truth is we cannot do this on our own. We need to stay connected to our, par our power source. We need to stay connected and trust Jesus' words when he says to us, let down your nets for a catch. In other words, open up your heart. Open up your lives to see the fish, the people that God brings into your life and use the gifts and the talents that God has given to you to catch them with God's love. And then let the Holy Spirit work in their hearts and lives. And for us, instead of saying, I just can't do it, let's say, I just can't wait to let down my net and share God's love. To God belongs the glory. Amen.